Centers here in British Columbia, Canada. And uh, this is part of our series of videos which we will be making in order to help the internationally educated nurses to obtain their license as registered nurses and licensed practical nurses here in Canada. Well, in today's video, I will be unfolding the process of NNAS, which is National Nursing Assessment Service. That's kind of the first step and one-stop shop towards applying for your licensure. NNAS is a good initiative because um, in case you want to apply as a registered nurse, and an LPN, and in case you want to apply to Alberta or British Columbia or Saskatchewan at the same time, you don't have to send your documents to all these places and all these regulatory bodies separately. So all you need to do is just go on NNAS, make an account, make the payment, and there you go, you're done. So for that, the first thing you need to do is go to the website, which is www.nnas.ca, and download the PDF file, which is an inf information booklet, which will really help you out um, in the steps of how to fill your account. So then you'll click on apply or login. And as soon as you click on it, your application will start forming. The first things um, which go in are the basic information about your name, your address, and a bunch of other things. And to make sure um, it's authentic, you will be sending two of your ID proofs to NNAS, which should be notarized. And the information booklet can help you in finding out which are those ID proofs you may send. Then the next thing will be your school. So you will be writing down all the information about the schools of nursing you attended and what kind of um, degrees or diplomas you actually had. And don't forget that in case you came to Canada on a student visa or a student permit and you ever studied anything in nursing, it could be nursing leadership, a program in critical care nursing, don't forget to mention that because you are going to get some extra credits for that. And then the next uh, step will be your registration. Every province um, in every country have uh, their own registration bodies where they give nurses certain number. So you will have that from your back home countries. So give information into your NNAS account. Then the next thing will be your employment history. So NNAS wants to explore your employment history from the past five years. So you will be writing down a bunch of your employers. So, and there's nothing like in case you don't have any experience, no need to worry about that as well, right? Then once you're done with all this um, account formation, then they will um, ask you to pay the fee, which is 650 US dollars or approximately 800 Canadian dollars. And as soon as your payment's through, a for part G will be generated, which is actually your forms. So whatever information you've been feeding into your NNAS account, now it comes out in the form of forms. And those forms have to be downloaded, printed off, signed, and then sent to the concerned authorities. There will be forms for your school, there will be forms for your registration body back home, and there will be forms for your, for your employers. And it is their responsibility now to fill them accurately and then send them by themselves in their sealed envelopes off to NNAS. The addresses can be found um, under every form. Okay, so once all this is done, you need to know that your NNAS account stays active for one year. So you have one year of time, which is plenty in itself, to get your documents from your country and also to fulfill your English scores, which we will be talking in our next video. And for now, in case you have any questions and you have any difficulty in filling your NNAS form, make sure you leave it in the comments and I will try to reach you as soon as possible. So this is it for now and I'll see you soon in our next video. All right.